Daring Championships, Big Train Comedy in 10 Minutes. No holding back. Before that, with the ad Mad Victor. Remember all the crap they tried to sell on your TV? You bought the stuff, own the pack, threw it away, see? Crazy from the push button fun, Jimmy Osmond at number one. Space dust made your tongue come alive, it was really cocaine in the under five. Nothing doggies, golly walkies, Jason King Wick, finger magic. Old Spice, Bruce and Hyde, karate, the smell of a 70s teenage party. Ape and niggas, and shoes called niggas, and slim wheel hot man, twinkle pickers, and Cindy dolls and x-ray specs, the nearest you could get to sex. Chopper Liz and nylon bedding, the rotten white suit you bought for a wedding. And there's the evidence. They're great! Well, they're not, Tony. They're crap. Ads and denies and ads and denies. Not another TV programme about ads. Good evening. My name is Victor. I'm a TV critic. I live in your television set. Ow. Tonight, Ads Infinitum visits the movies. Feature presentation, a collection of bygone cinema ads that have never been shown before on British television. Unless, of course, this is a repeat broadcast, in which case I'm lying. No matter. A warm welcome to you all. Hope you'll thoroughly enjoy our programme. Tonight, food at the flicks. For centuries, Britain has produced the world's worst cuisine. Yes, it has. No, don't argue. Don't argue. I mean, if British food was any good, then Bombay and Beijing would be full of English takeaways. Coming soon to this cinema... Dora Bryan and Sir Gerald Nabarro as the gay couple who take crack cocaine off their bum bum. In fact, the only time anybody actually enjoys British food is at the movies. Having full penetrative sex with an ironing board. And that's simply because it's so dark that we can't see what we're eating, which is why we leave the cinema looking like this. <laughs> Visual gags. Don't you love them? Now is the time. Time Cinemas have traditionally flogged strange and exotic types of confectionery that were never on sale anywhere else, like this. New ice cream, fruit parfait. Cool, exciting, sophisticated. <laughs> sophisticated? It was frozen margarine with a cherry stuck on the top. Cool, exciting, sophisticated, special. That's right, special fruit made. parfait. It failed, of course, because you the British wouldn't say foreign words like parfait in public. It was just the same with quenelle. Cinema is all about fantasy. Wait a minute. Four quite now. Well, that's okay then. As I was saying, cinema is all about fantasy, and the biggest fantasy they expected you to fall for was the ridiculous idea that women like this would be working in your local flea pit. In fact, the only thing more revolting than the frozen margarine on sale on the tray was the miserable old cows and unshaven gentlemen who sold it. Of course, this was the 1960s, the height of the space race, and Britain was at the cutting edge of technology. Rocket tranquility. The Russians had Soyuz. Britain, uh... The Americans had Apollo, and the British had... Stand by for launching. It's Zoom with three new flavors. Never mind about rockets burning up on re-entry. This one melted before you even got it back to your seat. The Zoom came in three flavors. Red flavor, blue flavor, and yellow flavor. Or only one flavor if you were colorblind. Like all rockets, its shape was profoundly phallic. But that's hardly surprising after all. Can you imagine the aerodynamic problems involved in getting a vagina into geostationary orbit? So there were also more discreet versions for girls to pop in their mouths. And the first ice lolly specially for girls. As recommended by Lady Penelope. This was fab, the first ice lolly for girls. Why was it for girls? Because it had hundreds and thousands on it, that's why. Unlike the first chocolate bar for girls, which was the Mars bar, as recommended by... Marion Faithful, who found it... Truly feeling and satisfying. Tray on head, out tray, on her head, out, on the head, out tray, on head. Pray for me. Have a hot dog. What? A piping hot frankfurter tucked in a fresh white roll. Mmm, they're great. Mmm, they're mechanically recovered BSE carcass meat. From Mars to sausages in one move. I hope you're enjoying my excellent links. No, not that sort of excellent links. <laughs> Where were we? Oh, yeah. Mmm, why not try an exciting dab bun with a hot pink streak of skin and gristle? Mmm, and coat it with a great taste of red flavour squirted all over it. Watch a film, then buy an SRB with your friends and chew the fat together. And the bits of extruded brain and sinew. As for BSB, sorry, SRBs, the tastiest and most nutritious part was the box. And talking of boxes... 
Even in the 1930s, people were getting a thrill out of a box of chocolates. But by the 1960s, some people had discovered another method of getting a thrill. Gentlemen sitting on their own would they'd place the box over their laps and, and through the hole in the bottom of the box, they'd, they'd, they'd toss themselves off. Oh, that's disgraceful. I'm sorry about that. Oh, dear. So disgraceful. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. You see, I ended the sentence with a preposition. It should be tossing off themselves. Anyway, they did that. They put the thing through the box. A story that makes this trailer more poignant than was ever intended. Had a toss. Feeling thirsty. Enjoy a drink with your friends in the Odeon bar. As a child, you longed to be old enough to buy alcoholic drinks, but when you finally could, you discover that the ones they sold in cinemas were even more disgusting than the non-alcoholic ones. This was not a drink so much as a device for getting women to assume a Y shape after the film. But frankly, you'd need a damn sight more than a baby sham to see the world like this. What you'd need would be a can of... Chesswood mushrooms. Ah, I think mushroom pie should do very nicely. Chesswood mushrooms. They did button and magic mushrooms. Pass some along, please. That's the way. Pass it along and help others to enjoy. This excellent idea somehow never caught on in our nation's cinemas. Why not? Because back in the 1960s, everyone still remembered rationing and the need to eat whenever you could. So, frankly, passing free food along in the dark, even if it were an SRB, it was too much of a temptation for anyone. And talking of temptations, the campaign they wished they'd never done of the week. When your husband's away, it's such a comfort to have the dog around to take care of you. I'm <laughs> passing no comment. Ooh, I <laughs> got any magazines. Where was I? I need a drink. Feel like a vodka? Zamoyski. Never heard of it. It was discontinued. You could always tell a Zamoyski drinker he was the one shouting to himself on a disused bomb site while poor children threw bricks at his shack. Shut up, you care sons. Yeah, and Zamoyski didn't need to be any colour because all that Zamoyski drinkers wanted was the great flavour of getting alcohol into their veins real quick. Goodbye, everybody. Safe journey home. Smashed on 60 Baby Sham and 10 quarts of Zamoyski from the Odeon Bar. Time to jump into that escort and learn something about nature that your biology teacher never taught you. That pillar boxes do nothing for ages, then suddenly leap out you in the dark when you've been drinking. I'm sorry, but with a voice like this, she deserves to die. What I'd like to know is, what does she do with all the money? What oh, money? The money her mother gave her for the singing lessons. Still, at least the caring, sharing NHS connected her up to a Zamoyski drip, straight to the arm in the hospital, where if you live, you'll want to die, because you might meet this human poodle. Oh, dear. Wenn man wie ich die 30 erreicht hat, und schon einige Falten, die Stirn haben, sich auf dieser zu zeigen. So reibe man sich früh morgens nicht zu spät Morpheus Arme aus den Augen. Nein, man hänge die dumpfe Stube an den Nagel, werfe sich den Hut um die Schulter und eile hinaus an die frische Luft, um sie zu schnappen. Ja, und deswegen braucht man nicht immer gleich ins Ausland zu reisen. Nein, zum Beispiel nach Italien, wie in das Land der Pomeronen und Zitranzen, was? Ach, Rom ist auch nicht an einem Tag von der Wölfin gesäugt worden. Oder nach Griechenland etwa, wo, wo die kleinen Kinder Alpha Alpha sagen, wenn sie AA meinen. Nee. Ach. Nee. Meine Damen und Herren, auch ein deutscher Wald, auch hier. Watch next week's Ads Infinitum, mainly because if you don't, your entire family will be wiped out by a serious aeroplane crash. But also because we're looking at some of those Oscar-winning local ads. Cover your floors with the comfort of our quality carpets. Enjoy our little luxury. Come to Central Place Carpets at Trinity Place Clandidno for great carpets. You can't miss us, we're just opposite the Wimpy Bar and only 50 yards from this cinema.
another swell TV show from Associated Preview Fusion.